Hello and welcome to day four, day five, day four. I think it's day four. It's like well, my script says day five, so I'm going with day five. Um, and my adventure is in Crucible as Seth League. So, day five, what has happened today? Um, first of all, I am level 91. Uh, which is amazing um and i am done oh i am done with all the yellow maps did some unique maps um my way i found a coward's trial both of a theory pillars of a rune i think that's it i don't know i did a mushroom of chaos as well uh yeah did all the uh Eater, Maven, and Exarch uh, up until tier 11. And it went smooth. Uh, so the I was overgeared since Crucible makes you makes you gear more than you would like to. <laughs> um, but they also nerfed it uh, this morning. Uh, like with the patch, they decreased the HP values by 20% or something, and they made it so that it's smoother progression for earlier channels, so you can just half cook it and it's going to be a better result. Uh, I definitely felt that. Um, although I had one map, I think it was a tier 9 map, where I only channeled uh, 75% and then a unique mob spawn jumped on me and I died just yeah yeah <laughs> why does the unique mob spawn when I don't cook the full meter that was very annoying um yeah so what else has happened on my character I have a new chest uh I dropped this just like, like that um, and then five linked it not sure what to craft on it but just a really good basic best I have to use uh, Eldritch currency now and improve it I finally got rid of some rings uh, I swapped out the gold ring for this one it's tier one life tier one Accuracy and some good rest. So this is nice. I think the rest are the same as yesterday. Yeah, uh, hel helmet still very improvable. Uh, low ro life roll. The only thing it really got going for it is the chaos rest. But yeah, kind of kind of annoying. I automated my diamond flask. Which is nice. And I got to flip all my gems um, and val them. So, as you can see, I have a level 20, 20% 20 val I shot now. Funny story that. Um, so, I was still doing my first Alva Temple and I had a level 2 gem room in it. But I forgot that I linked a Shrine of Empowerment to it. I just didn't read the temple layout correctly. Uh, so it was a level 3 gem room. And I only had level 19 and 20% quality ice shots lying around. And it went plus 1 and Val. So yeah. But that's indicative how this, this gem valing is gonna go. I'm never going to hit the plus one and Val ever again this whole week. And this is as good as it gets. Um, for the rest of the lips and Vals, uh, mostly nothing happened. I think I had one of those supports go 23. Where is it? Ah, Barrage got turned 23. Uh, and my dash went plus one. That's it. Nothing exciting going on there. Um, 
Yeah, I'm currently leveling, uh, of course, ice shots, but I have to double crop them in the temple, so I only really need to. Oh, these are done. Yeah, so I only really need to prepare a few of them. Um, cool. What do I want to level? Uh, there's one hatred in there. I think I'm gonna go hypothermia. One cold pen, one hypothermia. Okay. Thanks for uh, pointing that out. So, temps are going okay ish. Um, I haven't had a quality down. And, yeah. Um. I found my first geode today. Um, it's the end game stuff to like add and remove trees. And yeah, I just wanted to wait until now to open it and see what we got. So here it is. Oh God, that's a lot of text. Okay, contains a forge that can combine trees. Okay, drop div cards. 50% chance to block. That's not that bad because I can just spec into that. So they can't anymore. 50% experience. Gain. What level is it? Does, does it say what level it is? 80? It's item level 80. Always. Always bleed. Can't suppress. But they can fracture. Okay, yeah, so I have a, I have a combine thing. That's nice. I can just put it in here. Um, which also brings me to stuff I found. So I was doing challenges. And this dropped like this. With <laughs> these insane rolls. <laughs> Fractured spell suppress. And like, what is going on? Um, and for the challenge here to cook a fractured item, the tree is not good. Like, it's it's nothing. But I just really liked how how the item looked. Um, kind of cute. Uh, other stuff I found. I have a ranger bow that can turn into a unique. Um, the only unique it can turn into is Nold's Inclination. It can't turn into... Was it Void Fletcher? Was that the Quiver? Like the other one. Um, yeah, I can't obviously turn into a boss drop, so it can only turn into Nold's Inclination. Um, this tree uh, is fun for this one. So maybe I have to cook it now that I can combine trees. Um, so I could maybe play Ignite Ice Shot. Uh, I don't know how viable that is. But it was kind of cool to see it. Uh, the rest is not that good on it. Um, yeah. It's really nothing to talk about. And this one, what, what is this? It's just also not that good. Why is it in there? I don't know why this one is in there. Um... Yeah, so currently I am just um, picking up Imperial Bows and Spine Bows, cooking them once, looking at the tree, and then usually tossing them. Um, my current project is this Imperial Bow, and I'm going to vendor it. <laughs> um, yeah, now that the mechanic isn't that time-consuming anymore, um, and you can actually defeat the mobs in a timely fashion. I think it's fine that you run like 10 maps and then get 20 chaos from the mechanic. Or you get a really good tree and you can have fun with that. So it's a step in the right direction. The channeling still feels off. So maybe they're going to change something regarding in regards to that. You can just... A visual aid that lets you see how far you have cooked stuff. It's just the the bar that starts wiggling, and I don't think that's enough. 
Um, yeah, I already rendered one item for Medic Ore. They work like faceter lenses for gems, but for items. So if I need a million experience, I don't know how much experience that is. Okay. I can't see how, how many more I need. What do you mean? Um, yeah, but it's only in the hundreds of thousands, so a million is enough to get you at least to the, to the second mark. I don't think it's going to be the third also, but who knows. Uh, and then I am specced in my atlas co completely into blight. I am I have immune response. I have epidemiology. I have fungal bloom, and most importantly, blight spawn. Um, that drops oil extractors, and I am not sure if I can use them on corrupted items, but I found some good talismans that I want to extract them. Um, for example, this one has not a single good roll, but it has unnatural calm. And unnatural calm. Unnatural calm is two golden oils worth of oils. So if it works, I have a. I don't know if it's weighted. Let's just check. Can I get a golden oil? And use it on corrupted items. So how am I supposed to get anointed items? Does it also drop anointed items? Or do I have to spec into that as well? I don't want to spec into that. Oh no! Now that I have the oil extractor, I can't use it? Um, yeah, cool. N not at all fucky. Mm, okay, Th there it is. I have to spec into it. Yeah, great. That was a lure. Um, what else has happened? It's such a, such an annoying thing. I did my first grand heist and my second and my third. I have a thief's trinket now that just does a little bit of stuff. Uh, so it drops jewelers instead of chromes and alchemy instead of transmutes. It's nice. I got a replica prism weave for leveling my next character. And I got a replica at series foible. So what the game is telling me is I should try and get a wrath pit. I'm not going to do that. Um yeah. I found a Widow Hail that is 2% off. Um, so it rolls till 250, but you have to at least get the 200 for it to be usable. Um, yeah, I think that's it concerning notable drops so far. It really hasn't been that eventful. I got a Blunder Boar. Um, that just happened. Uh, yeah. I also did some delving. I'm down to uh, tier 10 as well on delve, and it's just smooth. I have kind of some essences ready. Uh, I have to craft like upgrades, especially for my amulet, which I'm going to do. Now it's time to, to leave this one behind. It has been great, but I think one with 
uh, stats on it, like strength, int, life. And then we'll see about like flat damage or whatever. It's just better. Maybe I have one. See this one. Um, I don't think there's enough. Oh, there's enough. Um, because it would give me 200 life. Yeah, almost 200 life. Um, so that's the next step. I collected some of these items. So, yeah. I think that's the upgrade uh, for today. I also found a plus one fire fracture. Just lying on the ground. A tier one spell damage. Um, accuracy ring and a light radius ring. Synthesized bases are just wild. Um, yeah. My current two star ring is also synthesized or evasion rating. Just fun, fun, fun. Um, yeah, I think that is definitely it for now. I am going to update my amulet. Uh, and try to run tier 11 maps after that. It should be fine, but whatever happens, happens. Um, also, the next plan is to spec apparently more into the stupid mechanic here. Um, maybe pick up the Alva nodes so I get more chances for double corruptions now that my gems hit 2020. Um, and spec out of like abyss here and stream of consciousness. I can just uh no, I I still have to block those nodes. Um oh, well I can I can skip these then. Yeah, I think I think that's worth it. Uh, if I um because that is two points and I get one point for free here. Uh -huh. uh, back out of the piss, back into that, uh, back out of these, and now I can put them towards. Or I could spec them into here, reroute these two points. Now I think I'm going to go with the blight route first. And see how that works. Um, I'm so annoyed. I, the oil extractor thing. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's it for today. Um, no gameplay footage because I've been rambling on for too long. And I hope I can show you um some red map footage tomorrow um stay tuned and the nerf crucible feels a lot better so yeah let's see what tomorrow brings <laughs>